Chicago. You know, this morning we talked about it. You know, it's chilly. It's around 33 in Indy right now. We've had the clouds come in through the overnight, so we're going to wake up. The sun comes up. Uh, the last day, by the way, that the sun comes up close to 7 a.m., we're going to fall, or I should say spring forward an hour, so that means the sun's going to come up a little later come tomorrow after the daylight saving time change. We right now have clouds, cool temps, but brewing back to our west. A strong weather system that's already starting to uh, enhance widespread storms from Missouri. This takes us down through northern Arkansas, back into Oklahoma. This developing system is what's going to move in as we get into this afternoon. First along a warm front, so not necessarily severe storms. But then we get into the evening, and as a cold front pushes through, all the dynamics coming together to potentially bring in some isolated uh, storms that do reach severe limits across the southern half of the state. Uh, the target zone for the widespread severe weather, where you, weather where you see that level three on the uh, Storm Prediction Center scale, that's going to be just to our south. So we're talking about portions of southern Illinois down through Kentucky and Tennessee. We are on the very northern extent of those severe parameters, meaning yeah, there's just enough there that we could see an isolated strong storm developing later today. Most of us are in that level one of five from the Storm Prediction Center. So let's walk you through what you could see, the timeline, and those potential threats. We're dry during the first part of the day. It stays cloudy. After lunchtime today, we'll bring in the rain through the afternoon. Temperatures warm back up through the 40s. And you'll notice here, even through 4 p.m., we're only going to be around 46. We do not achieve that daytime high in the mid-50s until this evening. That's going to prime the atmosphere for that severe threat. Mainly looking at the potential of some damaging wind gusts with these storms today. Heavy rain will also accompany that with lightning, which is always a threat in any thunderstorm. Low threat of tornadoes today, but to still have to mention it as an isolated spin up is a possibility, especially across the far southern half of the state later today. Here's the timeline on Future Track 13. We take you into the 1 o'clock hour, pausing here as the heavy rain makes its way into the southwestern part of the state first, becomes widespread heavy rain for everybody through the afternoon. Here's 4 p.m., and this is as everything starts to warm back up. We'll be in this warm sector, and that's going to give us that highest chance for some isolated strong storms. So we pause here again at 7 p.m. It's these isolated storms that we're going to watch out for that develop along the cold front. These are the ones that potentially could contain those strong wind gusts and some of those isolated spin ups as we get into this afternoon. Here's 7 p.m. This will start to exit as drier air intrudes into this weather system. Our severe threat comes to an end after 9 o'clock this evening. And then some much cooler air takes back over as we take you into your Sunday. The sky even clears come tomorrow afternoon as we look at highs rebounding back into the 40s. So not quite as warm tomorrow, but at least we are looking at a mainly dry day on Sunday. We're dry to get next week started as well. 46 Monday, 48 on Tuesday. We're back to 60 with a warm front that sweeps through late Wednesday and then a high of 70. Matt, on Thursday, it's not going to be long lived though. It happens in the morning. Temperatures fall through the day and we are much more seasonal come next Friday.